What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to continue working on the 2013 GMC Sierra. In the last video, we got the framework done, boys. Thanks to dad for all the help. Today we're gonna to get a jump start on all the body work. We got a lot of it. And I know I said in the previous video that we're gonna go ahead and get the truck passed through inspection, but there is a process with all the paperwork. We're still waiting on that. And we don't have our seat belts back. They just received them this morning. But right now we're gonna go ahead and take the truck outside give it a nice wash and detail inside. So as soon as we get all that back, we can slap it in and keep moving. Stay tuned. So we got the truck nice and clean and before we take this sticker off i want to get your opinion on whether you think the truck was a run and drive when we bought it that's how the truck was listed and i find that to be a little misleading i did talk to the manager about it first of all the drive shaft was broken half and then the wheel was in the bed which you can see that in pictures but she came back with her policy about yay thick said that corporate recently changed their rules and anything with a shift lever that goes from park reverse and neutral and a steering wheel that turns is considered a run and drive, which that's pretty much all their cars other than the burn damage. But what caught me by surprise was how the assessor had marked all the little dings and scratches after the pictures were taken. And he was even marking the hood when that thing is not even salvageable. So let me know what you think in the comments. For now, let's go ahead and jump inside the interior and give it a nice clean.
So I got the interior cleaned out and man, that was just a mess, but it's part of the package. Sometimes you get a nice clean unit and sometimes it's trashed. It's got a pretty nice interior. It's the ZX Invader Edition, but kind of ragged out. We need a new steering wheel and the dash is all busted up, which I only thought the older Dodge Rams had that problem, but I guess this truck got a nice sun beating on it too. Right now, let's go ahead and move on to these tow mirrors and get those installed. Let's go ahead and pop these door panels off. Check it out boys we got the tow mirrors on and i think this style looks pretty killer on the 1500s let me know what you think it will have more of a cleaner look once we get these color matched with the rest of the truck but that'll be a little bit later on once we get in the painting stage this is a nice speck of a mirror it's got the smoked out turn signals and the backup lights which i don't have wired up just yet we'll get around to that once we get a little closer on completing the truck right now let's go ahead and move on to the body work starting off on the tailgate we got a bunch of little dingers here and there i've already got the bullet hole welded up let's go ahead and get this thing debadged and prep for some body filler So I got the tailgate ready to go. This upper trim put up a little fight. Three musketeers were spinning from the inside. We had to pop this one out. These two inner ones I grabbed with the vice grip. Right now let's jump on the DA and scuff this bad boy up. I got all the dingers prepped and we are good to go. None of them are big enough to where we have to pull them out because that will cause a little bump in the surface. So we'll slap a very light coat of body filler and then just finalize everything with glazing.
So I got the tailgate prepped for primer. Everything feels nice and smooth. We're gonna lay it down kind of heavy and then we'll just block everything down. So I got the tailgate painted, the paint laid down nice and smooth. I don't see any problems with it. So let's go ahead and mix up some clear and slick it in, eh? <laughs> guys next day here and we did screw up on the paint job i'm not really sure what happened but this morning the clear was all matte and dull looking i think the rain might have had something to do with it and maybe condensation inside the building since it's not 100 percent airtight but hey it's cool at least we got the body work done and we'll just have to slick this in along with the rest of the bed on a beautiful sunny day i was supposed to have our seat belts and rear drive shaft in by now but somehow fedex lost both of those packages so hopefully they could get those trays down and deliver to us. Right now, let's go ahead and jump on this bed and get some of this body work knocked out. Alright guys, so we just got done blocking out the glaze. 
I didn't want to bore you guys with any more sanding, so we just got it done off camera. Everything is coming out really nice and smooth, but I am taking my time with this. This bed is a little intricate with a bunch of body lines. I don't want to rush myself because once you get it painted, you can't really go back. We got some more blocking out left over here, and then I'll probably slap another coat of glaze on that since the Bondo is coming through. This is just a good stopping point. We're not going to get around to the primer in this one because I do want to get all the other body work done. We've got a few more damages on the doors, and hopefully by the next episode, our seat belts come in so we can run the truck through a state inspection. And then all that's left is to paint the truck. So stay tuned for that. That's a wrap for today. If you like what you see, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome builds. Also, give us a follow on Instagram at danny.tv. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.